Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode I showed you guys how to make tons of money by killing the sacrifices in Eden Hall. Alright, so in the last episode I explained to stack up some money and then we were going to go and fight the Proud Clad, which is right in front of Orphan's Cradle. But before we do that, we need we got some very important stuff to do. Now this is a completely optional. But if you want your characters to be super strong, I highly suggest to do it. So in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Traps of Hydran upgrade crystal. Now for those of you that have started upgrading, you may have known that the, uh, or you may have seen the Traps of Hydran. It's the most expensive thing you can buy in the game. It costs $2 million for one Traps of Hydran. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it after a battle. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you need to backtrack to where we fought the Adamentos earlier. Now, if you remember, a couple episodes back, I said that we needed to take out an Adamentos directly in front of Eden Hall. We're in the Leviathan Plaza area, so this is where the Adamentos can be found. So, you remember I said we had to take him out because in order to get the two treasure balls, we need to take out the Adamentos or else he would shatter the glass. And we would only be able to get one of the two treasure balls. So you need to backtrack um, to here. If you're in Eden Hall, all you need to do is retrace your steps. And it's um, two area, or one area back. So just retrace your steps back to the Leviathan Plaza. Now if you didn't kill the Adamentos before and he shattered the glass, you're going to need to head up these steps here in order to get around the shattered glass. So let me quickly show you. I gotta take care of these guys real quick. Alright, so if he shattered the glass, then you won't be able to head back across the glass. You can use these little steps over here. And you're going to have to walk around and through the um, little entranceway. And then head up the steps. And you can follow these steps over to where the Adamentos is at. Alright, so once we get back here... Now you can get a Traps of Hydran for free by killing an Adamentos because his rare drop is a Traps of Hydran. So it's really rare to get one of these and it might take several tries but you can get one for free instead of wasting two million dollars. And then once we get one from fr for free I'm going to show you guys how to make one turn into three. That way instead of spending six million dollars for three Traps of Hydrans that way you can get all three of your main characters. Uh, to their ultimate weapons which will cost six million dollars just for the three traps of hydrons i'm going to show you how to get three traps of hydrons for free and all you need to do is get one from the adamentos all right so first of all we're going to need a weapon that will increase the rare drop of an enemy and that accessory is called a connoisseur catalog so now you're going to need to have one collector catalog now if you don't have one you can buy one and I think you can buy them at BMW Outfitters let me quickly check no they don't sell it here hold on Okay, so you can buy them from the Moogle Workshop if you don't have a collector's catalog. Now they cost 100,000 gil. So as long as you've been following this walkthrough, you should have more than one. So once you have a collector's catalog, we're going to need to upgrade it. So find a save point and go to upgrade and then accessories and find the collector's catalog. 
Alright. So you really don't need too much experience to upgrade the collector's catalog. And you don't really need to buy anything unless you don't have any components for some reason. But if you do, just go ahead and use any components to upgrade the collector's catalog. And it only requires 1,050 1050 experience. Alright, so once you fully upgraded the collector's catalog, it'll have a star next to it. Now you're going to need to use a Mnar stone upgrade crystal to transform it. So if you don't have an Mnar stone, you can purchase it at the mother load. And it costs $60,000. So make sure you get one Mnar stone. And then go back to upgrade and find the collector's catalog, fully upgraded. Now use an Mnar stone, and it'll say collector's catalog star, upgrade this item, choose yes. Now the type's modified, the collector's catalog goes from item scavenger to the connoisseur catalog, which is item collector. All right, so now um, I'm just gonna quickly, uh, upgrade the connoisseur catalog now you don't need to upgrade the connoisseur catalog at all all you need is a connoisseur catalog level one so don't worry about upgrading it any further i'm just going to go ahead and do it um really quickly there we go you only need to use like two small components to upgrade it all right, so once you have a connoisseur catalog, go ahead and put it onto vanille. Now you'll see that the collector's catalog, what the collector catalog does is it increases the odds of obtaining items after battle. So when fighting enemies, they have a common drop and they have a rare drop. So the collector catalog will increase the chances of the enemy's common drop. Now the Connoisseur catalog, is which we, which we just upgraded, increases the odds of obtaining rare items after battle. So the rare item drop from an Adamentos is a Traps a Hydrant upgrade crystal. The upgrade crystal that costs $2 million, you can get one for free by killing an Adamentos. And you can do this as early as Eden. Alright, so once you have a Connoisseur catalog, go ahead and equip that to Vanille. Now let's quickly put a Sorcerer's Mark on Vanille and Sprint Shoes so she has Auto Haste. Now you're going to want to switch your paired items. So let's go ahead and make one Paradigm Espionage which is synerg Synergist, Sabotar, Sabotar. And then go ahead and make another Paradigm Synergist, Sabotar, Synergist. Alright, so go ahead and make Espionage your active Paradigm, which will be Synergist, Sabotar, Sabotar. Alright, so once you've done that, then you're going to go ahead and make Vanille your battle team leader. And once you have the necessary preparations, go ahead and save your game. That way you don't have to do this all over again. Alright, so once you're fully prepared, go ahead and fight Adamentos. Now we're going to use the same strategy to kill him as before. Note that you're going to have to have Vanille's Death Spell. If you do not have the Death Spell for Vanille, then you need to progress her far enough down her uh, Sabotar role so that she learns death. And once you're ready, go ahead and fight the Adamentos. Now note that death does not work every time, so it may take several different fights to, uh, to actually kill him. You're gonna squirm. At the start of the fight, go ahead and summon Hecta with Vanille.
We're counting on you. Whenever you summon Hector, the Adamantos legs will be dis dis disabled, making him unable to attack. Now at this point, you need to constantly spam death with Vanille. And it also helps if you use uh, D-Protect and D-Shell on Adaminto. Once you have D-Protect and D-Shell, constantly spam death. Alright, so once Hector has uh, left, we'll be back in control of everyone else. No choice, I guess. Quickly switch to superiority so that Fang can cast haste on Vanille. So if Fang doesn't know any abilities in her synergist role, you need to progress her far enough down the synergist role so that she learns haste. That way she can cast haste on Vanille. Once you have haste on Vanille, switch back to Espionage and keep spamming death. Now if you manage to stagger Adamentos, it'll increase the chances of death hitting him. We got one more chance. Alright, so if you can't kill him with death and he gets up, simply retry the battle and start over. So again, it won't work every time. Death will not kill him every time. So you need to continue trying until you can eventually kill him. As long as you have the Connoisseur catalog on, it will increase the rare drop rate. <clears throat> after battle. And again, Adamentos' rare drop is a trap to Hydrant. Protect and D-Shell first, and then switch over and start using Death. This is for everyone. This is for everyone. This is for everyone. Once the Hector leaves the battle, switch to superiority so that you can buff up Vanille with haste. This is for everyone. This is for everyone. Appreciate it. And then switch back to Espionage. And continue spamming death with Vanille. And there he goes.
eventually one of the times you defeat Adamentos, he will drop the rare drop traps the Hydra. So we didn't get anything this time. So it might not work every time. So if it doesn't, you don't don't worry about it. We're gonna keep trying. <clears throat> Now, after you um, defeat the uh, enemy, you might not get any, um, you, you won't have any TP left to use uh, a summon again at the beginning of the fight. So you can either use the Ethers All to restore your TP, or you can press Start and then press Select and quit the game. To try again so let's go ahead and do that now <clears throat> by reloading the game you won't have to use your ether dolls in order to restore your TP And the Adamentos will be immediately respawned so that you can fight him again. So whenever death does manage to hit him and kill him, there's a small percentage that you will get the Traps of Hydrant as a rare drop. Now, take note that it's very rare to get the Traps of Hydrant and it may take several fights to get it. In order to increase the chances, you need to have the Connoisseur Catalog. This increases the odds of obtaining rare items after battle. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try it one more time. If I don't get it, I'm going to end the episode. And I'll be back whenever I finally can get the Traps of Hydrant to drop from the Adamentos. So at the start of the battle, you summon. And then de-protect and de-shell. And then immediately start spamming death. Once the summon leaves, switch to superiority so that Fang can put haste on Vanille. <laughs> Then switch back to espionage and keep spamming death. So if you don't get it and he stands up, simply retry the battle and try again. Now this may take a while and you may be wondering if it's worth it. And yes it is because once you can get just one Traps of Hydrant, you can turn it into three. And that'll save you six million dollars. 
So just keep trying over and over and over. If you win the battle, you'll have a small chance of getting the traps of Hydran. If you don't get it, then restart. What if you wrong? don't get the um the traps of Hydran after you manage to beat the Adamentos, just keep trying. Um, reload your game, and that way uh, you don't have to you to use any Etherzols to restore your TP, so you can use a summon. After you put D shell and D protect on them, spam them with death. There he goes. So after the battle, cross your fingers. And we didn't get anything. <laughs> so press start and select and quit the game. And then try again. And you're just going to keep doing this over and over and over until eventually you get the Traps of Hydran. <clears throat> now after we get the Traps of Hydran, I'll show you guys on the next episode exactly how you can turn one Traps of Hydran into three. So this is very important and I highly suggest you guys make use of this uh, strategy. Because if you do this, you'll have all three ultimate weapons for your party characters, your battle team, before the end of the game. And that's really early. It's going to give you a huge edge on everything that you come into from here on. The hard part is just getting one Traps of Hydrant to drop from the Adamentos.
So again, it might take a while for death to actually kill him. But whenever you do kill him, cross your fingers and hope that you get the Traps of Hydrant. 
So after I kill him this last time, if I don't get the traps of Hydrant, I'm gonna cut this episode and keep trying. And that way, uh, whenever I do get the traps of Hydrant, I'll start the next episode. And I'll show you guys how to turn one traps of Hydrant into three. goes all right so again cross your fingers and hope for the traps of hydrant and we got a platinum ingot oh I thought that was it I was about to freak <laughs> all right so in the rare occasions when you do get a platinum ingot um I would suggest to use an ethers all um, because very soon in the game we're gonna be able to um, we're gonna be able to use or we're gonna be able to buy ethers alls from the store but we need to unlock the store that sells them first. So if you have any ethers alls, I would highly suggest to uh, use them. <clears throat> that way, uh, or actually no, just save your game. Here's what you do. If you get a platinum ingot, save your game. And then when you save your game, just uh, reload it. That way the Adamentos will respawn. And when you reload your game, the Adamentos will be respawned, and then you use an Etherzol to restore your TP, and you start fighting them again. Now, the reason you should uh, only use an Etherzol once you get a Platinum Ingot is because pretty soon there's going to be a store that opens up that sells Etherzols, and they're only like 20,000 gil, and you can sell a Platinum Ingot for 150,000 gil. So you're still you're increasing your gil, but you might only have a few etherzals so if you run out of etherzals um you can fight some enemies in the area in order to get more tp and then come back and if you don't want to do that then just go ahead and restart the game and don't even worry about saving the platinum ingot <clears throat> because the main thing we're working on is traps the hydrants but if you do manage to get a platinum ingot then uh, save your game, and if you have any Etherzols, use your Etherzol to get a full amount of TP back. And then you can, uh, that way you'll be um, getting, tra or you're, you'll be getting platinum ingots that you can sell for 150,000 gil. So this is a great way to get gil, but the main reason we're doing it is for the traps of hydrants. So you're pretty much killing two birds with one stone. You're trying to get traps of hydrants, and you might get platinum ingots as well. So again, if you get a platinum ingot, save your game. And then if you have any etherzols, use an etherzol to restore your TP. And then reload your game so that the Adamentos is respawned and then fight them again. <laughs> if you run out of etherzols and you have a bunch of platinum ingots, you can just uh, go ahead and restart the game <clears throat> anyways to keep trying to get a Traps of Hydrant. Or you can fight some enemies in the area to get your uh, technical points back. And then you can keep trying to get the Traps of Hydrant from the Adamentos. 
All right, so that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. I'll see you guys next time after I manage to get the Traps of Hydran drop from the Adamentos. And I'll show you guys how to get, how to make one Traps of Hydran turn into three. All right, so I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13.